Good evening and a very warm welcome to your platform on NewsX. Speak out India, I'm Akshay Tandon. Despite rupees biggest single day recovery in 15 years, its depreciation has hit the Aam Aadmi hard. Prices have risen across the board and monthly household budgets have accelerated by 15 to 20 percent. Our correspondents from across the country get you how the economic crisis is burning a hole in your pockets. Like a wildfire, inflation inferno is hitting Aam Aadmi hard and now the sinking rupee is set to take sheen of this festive season. In God's own country, gold is glittering like diamonds. Subaina's plans to buy her dream necklace on her wedding anniversary have fallen apart. A few years back, uh, you know, it was uh, what one gram. I remember when I got married, one gram was around 500, 600. But now it's what around uh, 3,000 just in uh, around seven, eight years. It has gone up like six times. So it does. But uh, if you see the income that people are earning, you know, uh, um, say a middle-aged family, in seven years it's not going to you know multiply six times. So definitely the um, that that definitely uh, impacts people. Within a month, Chandresh's travel budget to Thailand has risen by over 50,000. Actually, I'm here for cancelling my trip of Thailand, which I booked earlier, uh, I think, two to three weeks back. And now, as I know, rupees gone down. So, I, I think it's not in my budget. So, I would like to cancel the whole package. The cost of international packages have gone up by 20 to 25 percent, leading to 10 percent cancellation in bookings. A lot of trips have been cancelled, a lot of trips have been postponed. Only those people who are uh, going to see dying relatives or sick relatives or students who are going for admission because they are going to lose the money if they don't go, those are the people who are travelling. The biggest impact of fall in rupee is that bare necessities have turned into luxury and luxury into distant dreams. 22-year-old Shyam Sundar has got a scholarship to pursue masters in Austria. Even though his tuition fee has been waived off, he needs to fund his living expenses and thanks to the falling rupee, he might have to shell out 20% extra. So due to these fluctuations, I have lost around 600 euros. So I need to show uh, some 600 euros more in my bank statement. So my parents are finding it uh, difficult for my education, to fund my education. Experts are advising students not to transfer all the money in one installment. In a simple word, I could say it's terrible because never in the history of this fluctuation the 25% increase was there. But st all students, mostly parents are affected, uh, especially the fathers or parents who have gone on loan. They would have gone with the budget. What I could suggest uh, them to not transfer all the money now, wait for a while and so. The pinch of the sinking rupee is not only restricted to gold, food prices or high interest rates but also consumer durables like television, washing machines and other home appliances. Depreciation is extremely inflationary. It will lead to higher prices of, across the board to my mind and some of, some of it has not been felt yet because uh, you might have still imported some goods at uh, lower exchange rates. Uh, it will soon come in so I think a lot of items will go up in prices. There are many who have identified the silver lining in the time of crisis. Veda Valli in Chennai is selling her gold jewellery to hedge against rising price. And this gang of girls from Delhi has decided to combat the high fuel prices by car pooling. Just because uh, the rupee is falling and it's pinching our pockets and uh, j just to save money and uh, our pa savings for savings, uh, we, are, uh, we are opted for carpooling. The fall in rupee has started showing its sign. It is pinching the pocket of Aam Aadmi, who has now got into a damage control mode by opting for options like carpool. With video journalist Setu Supriya Bharadwaj for NewsX in Delhi.